Hello, and welcome to the Robotnik is Sexy Pokemon YouTube show. Well, mm, yeah, I think I will be trying out this E-Train team. It is pretty limited in its potential, but when it works, it really works. Um, I feel like this team is kind of missing something, but yeah, maybe we'll figure it out while uh, putting it to use. Yes, let's do it. Let's get a battle. Yup. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it would be cool for Galvantula to do some cool stuff here. Funky 26 XD is my opponent on the left. That's a pretty cool name. Normal rules. E terrain, Bubby. Okay. This guy also has a Galvantula. Wow, oh, Sticky Webs look really, really, really good versus my opponent. Yeah, looks kind of rough. Hopefully Sticky Web can help us beat Mewtwo. Or whatever, right? Um, yeah, I think Iron Dragulus will probably do a lot in this battle, maybe. I could get overpowered by Uber stuff. We're both going to lead with our web dudes. I can always rapid spin, so I'm not worried about his sticky web. I think I'll just uh, bug buzz. Seems like I'm a little faster, or maybe I'm just winning the tie. <clears throat> now I'll be slower, for sure. Electro Web isn't a very good move in singles, though, which has me thinking this guy might be super shitty. Oh, okay, well, well, that definitely blew me away, so... They at least have special attack investment. This sets me up perfectly to just Rapid Spin here. Which, um... Yeah, I got pretty, pretty greatly threatens... Well, it would be nicer if I didn't have to uh, get my speed lowered by their web, but we're going to knock this guy out and get rid of the webs forever. Spooder, very high quality Pokemon nickname, gets knocked out. So both of our Galvantulas have been knocked out, but I have webs and they don't. And I'll just munch on my leftovers. Because with webs up, uh, Mewtwo kind of gets blown back by um, Iron uh, Valiant, which I thought long and hard about switching the Terra typing um, on it. I thought about switching it to Fighting, but I don't remember if I ever did it. No, it's still Fairy. Fairy's always good. Ruinous Wall. You ruinous wall piece of shit. So this guy's probably gonna get a, a freak load of hazards, which is not great. Um, I think I just start leaf blading. It would be nice if I had electric terrain up already, so I could get a little attack boost here with my ability on the point rank. Great switch for me as the stomping tantrum comes out. That's more of a doubles move again. Oh, that's a. Oh, okay, I crit him. Okay. I didn't think there would be a one hit knockout, but that move does have a really high uh, crit chance, so. That is absolutely huge for me taking out. Um, 
Ting Lu, right? That's what it's called. So this monster is here. Um. Huh. Yeah. I think we go straight in the slug, hopefully to not get destroyed. I, I think this guy's probably just gonna call mine or something. That's what I always do, right? Call mine. Alright, we will take a dragon pulse. Uh, it's not too bad. <clears throat> we'll take it pretty well. The leftovers will be really, really, really essential. Salty Rage, good nickname. He has no ground resist though, so he is the one with Salty Rage. This probably won't take it out in one. Alright. Metal Slug did more than... Uh, more than enough, really. So, hmm. Yeah. I guess we just Mecha Henson here. We can lock ourselves into uh, Dark Pulse and threaten Mewtwo if Mewtwo wants to come out. Oh, wait. That's right. This thing has that fucking um, uh, priority move. So I'm actually going to go to Dexter. Now, I don't think this guy has a rest or anything. I, I think this guy's effectively kind of screwed here. But, um, yeah, I'm, I just want to bait the uh, Thunder Clap, which we do effectively. Let's go for a Zing Zap. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, <laughs> we 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 take out this electric Pokemon with, with the Poindexter, the pink urchin. Oh man, Coridon! Hell, how fun to wave you! We could just go air slash. Thunder Wave is always good. Oh! Oh! He's getting, uh, he's getting sassy. He's bulking up on me. <clears throat> so I think a really, really, really good switch is actually Iron Valiant. Because I'm immune to, uh, well, I don't know, maybe it's not, but I feel like he's going to go for a dragon move. Is it risky? Probably, probably, because I, I could get knocked out by anything here, but if all this guy ever does is go for, like, uh, dragon moves and, like, fighting moves and shit, right? I'm not, uh, super worried, although maybe I should be. Alright, he will get fully paralyzed there. Yeah, shit just dies to Moonblast. Choice Specs. So Terra Fairy definitely works out better here. Yeah. He only really has me two in this left. Uh, I should probably tear out Barry, but yeah, we don't even need it. Bull is gonna get blasted by that. <clears throat> well, once again, we run into um, that Electric Dragon uh, Behemoth Pokemon, Raging Bull. It's like the third battle in a row with Raging Bull. If I do decide to keep this, I'm not sure. Well, let's just go for a little, uh, something. Uh-huh. 
I am weak to psychic, but there's no way you're crafting me. Oh. <laughs> what? This guy choked. <laughs> this guy choked in so many ways. And I'm probably getting another battle because this was so quick. But yeah, you, you're, you're done. You, you can't just call mind versus this threat. Don't even need to use Trastalization. We're just gonna attack our way through and very swiftly defeat this uh, dude. Funky 26XD. With the cool trainer card and everything. Mewtwo couldn't do shit with the. Uh, with all of the uh, speed control, I guess. Well, he had nothing for webs, and uh, I had a spinner, and that was pretty much it. All right, next battle. All right, opponent found. What will they bring? Can they defeat Galvantula? Are they weak to webs? Because, yeah, I actually got to use webs. Pretty cool. I wanna try doing that again. Sticky Web is just better than ever in this generation because they have introduced a lot of very strong Pokemon that are grounded. Which is really what the game kinda needed, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Sticky webs are good. Because uh, all the best Pokemon are on the ground in this game, for the most part, since the Paradox Pokemon are... Unless they're like flying type. But whatever. Rant over. Let's um, see if we can get this battle. Oh no. Oh no, bro. We have... Uh... <clears throat> well, hell. We just have this shit. Um. Bang. This does look challenging. At least I can't be put asleep by Darkrai because of uh, my electric train, right? That's pretty cool. Um, but I really have no idea who to lead with, in all honesty. Um, hmm. Probably Poindexter, since it looks like I'm going to need some speed. Although, yeah, hell, let's get that web up. A lot of those Pokemon are splazingly fast, like, um... Uh, well, Darkrai, for example, and, uh... uh whatever the fuck that Poison Dragon guy is, I forget what it is. He's really fast. And Groudon is also a lot faster than you think. Yeah. We'll just lead with Galvantula, hope for the best. There it is, the virus Pokemon from Sword and Shield. I forget what the hell it is. Uh, okay, so this will be the lead Pokemon. This works out really well for Galvantula. Sort of. Hey, we're faster? How is this possible? That's messed up. Fire Blast! My opponent is high on paint fumes. Well, I guess I'll Volt Switch since I appear to be faster. Look at some cool music. It'd be cool to save this Pokemon for later and just um, throw down some real good thunders. That's a tall volt switch. Those uh, little electric circles have to get way up there. All right, Poindexter, it's time to sack you, unfortunately. But maybe, uh, maybe I could get a Thunder Wave off. That'd be good. What the hell is with Fire Blast? This guy's got to be choice. Well, I hope you miss. Yay! We call that shit. Alright, if this guy's like locked into Fire Blast... Well, 
like I think duelists can come in here. Should be faster. Mm, um, I probably will take a lot from Fire Blast though. Hey, <laughs> we, this just happened in the first battle. Alright, Moonblast is probably just the best. It is the best. Moonblast! A very tall Moonblast. Go all the way up there. Dialga gets nuked by Aura Sphere, but I'm going to have to switch out in order to change up my move. However, like, hell, why do I need, even need to change my move? Like, what's the problem here? It's normally effective, it's probably going to be a 2 hit KO. Um, maybe risky, but I'm going to stand and try to hit this thing. So. Yeah, that's definitely... Uh oh, oh no! We get deleted by Steel Beam, but it will take the life of Mutant Dialga, whatever the fuck that thing is from Legends Arceus. It looks terrible. So, yeah, some pretty spicy shit happening already. Charlotte, I choose you, man. You just bug buzz this in the way. And I might do that. Just because I don't want to miss. Yay, it knocks out! I'm not sure if my opponent just is like low stats or something, but. Yeah. Galvantula did it, man. I'm at 1 HP. Out comes this guy. It's bastard. Well, shit. Oh, hell, man. It's time to Psyblade. It's actually Psyblade time. This is great. This is really good. Um, we have two turns of Electric Train left. I'm just gonna Thunder and try to do as much damage. Oh, man, Snorlax looks really cool in this game. He has some, some kind of fur texture. Oh, do we get the full para? <laughs> oh, you have choked. You have choked. I, my opponent is... Yeah. A choking hazard. The, the whole, all the battles are choking hazards. Okay, this guy cannot use rest because of electric terrain. Holy shit. Snorlax has been cock-blocked. From its namesake's move, rest is blocked by Electric Train. Take that, Japanese opponent. Just Volt Switch on that Snorlax. And, uh, yeah, we sack Poindexter and go Psyblade for the rest of the game. I think this kind of wastes a turn of electric trains, sending them out like this, but it's whatevs. It's probably for the best. We, we can uh, actually go straight into uh, Tribulus. Look at that big boy. I might Terra Flying, just for shits, because I don't need Terra on um, Iron Thorns, or Iron Leaf, I think it is, the um, <laughs> Verisian dude. Yeah, I don't need Terra on that. Prespice Blades, it will not affect me, sir. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna go for the air slash flinch, the classic Mecha Henson combo. This we always win our games this way with E Train Squad or any time anytime we have a team with Iron Jugulus. Put the choice specs on it. Air slash has that cheeky 30%. 
Oh my god, we crit through Grudon, he's dead. He's gets cut in half. I didn't expect that to happen either. Alright. Well, now I'm faster than you because of Sticky Web. Let's see if we can flinch it. This Pokemon is nuts, and it will drop me with a single uh, move, probably. Well, it is terrestrializing now. Okay. Uh huh. The Dragon type. Okay. Oh no! We missed the Air Slash! How tragic! Dynamax Cannon. Uh, should we be able to take this, I think? I'm not weak to it. Holy shit. Terrific. Oh, we get the double miss! You get double miss air slash. There's only a 5% chance of it missing. So... We get that 5% chance twice in a row. I guess Charlotte can bug buzz. Yeah, this is still definitely winnable, but missing air slash sucks. So we just go for a little bug buzz. This probably won't do anything, but it will allow uh, Psy uh, Blade, Psy Blade, to knock out. I'm pretty sure because E Train will be up for a few more turns now. The sun faded. Point break. Get your attack boost. Your uh, your attack gets boosted by the E-Train damage-wise, too. It is a crazy attack that no other Pokemon has in the game. This moose power is boosted by 50% if you're in Electric Train. Nuts. And I've got the attack raise. Yeah. Just deleted. That was a lot closer than I expected it to be there. Um, yeah, an entertaining couple of matches. Were they the best? No. No, they were not. But at least they had cool trainer cards that featured Pokemon. And they uh, brought six. And it was entertaining. It's good. I call that a win. Two big wins for me. Alright. Comment, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this. I will see you all later, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.